The Bachelorette season premiere is in the books and instead of the traditional summary or recap, I'm going to break down the episode into 10 big moments or storylines and takeaways. Couch potato, grab a snack and let's recap. At number 10, Michelle schools her students. And we get reminded that adding fractions is hard and so is adding that special person. After a pep talk with her mom and dad and former bachelorette host Taisha and Caitlin, she prepared to meet her men. At 9, we have the men who are lucky enough to get intro packages. Coming in first, we have the 20-year-old commodities broker from West Hollywood who knows that beauty is pain getting his eyebrows waxed on national television. Then, we have the 20-year-old real estate developer from Minneapolis, Joe. Just like Michelle, Joe is also from Minnesota and he's also biracial, so Joe takes his shot for love. Next, we have the future bachelor Clayton Etchard who is then introduced the 20-year-old medical sales rep from Columba, Montana with his mom, Kelly, who also happens to be a teacher. And if you don't know he was the upcoming bachelor, then I'm sorry, it's no longer a spoiler. It's been out there. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I mean, Brandon J., the 26-year-old traveling nurse recruiter, also received an intro package. Then we see this adorable pooch that stole the shine away from Nate, who is 27, a sales executive from Austin, Texas. With the amount of screen time Nate has in previews, I'm sure he didn't mind sharing some time with the pooch. Another 20-year-old, this time it's Chris G, a motivational speaker from Canada, and he got some surprise guests knocking at his door as he was getting prepared. Tasha and Caitlin busted into another room and this time in Spencer's room. The show would be incomplete without a shirtless moment and with that, a shirtless Ryan doing some farm work on his family's ranch appeared. Can someone call Aaron because Caitlin and Tasha have found some devious documents after rummaging through Ryan's suitcase. The evidence against Ryan has been located. Number 8, we have night 1 entrances. Nate is first up and all he did was say his full name, Babatunde Obafemi Robert Nathaniel Olukoya and Michelle was impressed. That was a good start, she murmurs as Nate walks inside. Holy sh**. Romeo, a 32-year-old mathematician, spoke foreign. He spoke some French to Michelle. Then came in a former army officer, Jack Russell, who was ready to play tug of war for Michelle's heart. Clayton arrived next with the first teacher pan for the night. He brought Michelle a yacht stick in case he steps out of line. Jamie caught Michelle's eye and he can barely form a sentence. We saw our rapid fire intros before the gimmicks and pans. Speaking about gimmicks and pans, at 7 we have the season's pans and bachelor phrases. Chris G made some corny speech about how Michelle is the one rose in a field full of daisies and Molik hoped that Michelle's his person. Alec was the first to use the phrase total package. Will told Michelle she's very beautiful in Spanish. Deep joked about his dopamine levels and Ulu said he hopes to become Michelle's number one pet. At six we have the gimmicks. You gotta have a nice one with the gimmicks. Chris S. showed up in a schoolboy bus wearing a primary schoolboy uniform. And somehow Rick knew this would air in October, so he went for a Halloween gimmick. His entrance gimmick was deliciously awkward. If that is a thing, Rick followed James's step by staying there until the lead pulls him for a one-on-one -on -one chat. Ryan showed up in an ice cream truck and Rodney showed up in an apple costume trying to be the apple in Michelle's eye. Peter hurled a slab of pizza dough into the air and Casey 
made an annoying first impression, Brendan K made everyone feel uncomfortable. TJ, no, 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 no. A teeny tiny weeny 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 toy fire truck rider. Daniel wants to make a smoke show. Excuse me, next. The Bachelorette produces do Daniel dirty as PJ pulls up in a big boy fire truck. That's how you shut someone up. Michelle doesn't normally get in bed on the first date, but she makes an exception for Brandon J. Spencer arrives dribbling two basketballs. Brian shows off some of his ballroom dance moves. Personal trainer Jomari rips off the sleeves of his suit. Wellness coach Edward tries to calm Michelle with a sound bath and Leroy keeps it simple. He asks for a selfie. Is it a picture perfect couple? Well, time will tell. Martin is already flipping crazy about Michelle after his back flip. He must be dizzy or something. I think he's dizzy. The fifth memorable moment was when Joe, the friendly ghost, appeared on The Bachelorette. Michelle wonders if she's happy or annoyed to see Joe. Joe ghosted Michelle until he found out she was going to be on TV. Coming in at number four is the famous, can I pull you for a chat? Michelle goes inside and kicks the night off with a toast. She says her two parents have been married for 33 years and they're still madly in love. She says to stay open, stay vulnerable and show me your authentic self. Cheers to Michelle Young's journey to finding love. Jamie, the biotech CEO, pulls Michelle first and Pizza Punia Peter is chatting up Michelle. Michelle tracks down Joe, the DM ghoster. I was surprised to get a few responses back, she tells him. And then, you know, someone forgot to hit send. The shade already. I'm here for it though. Call him out. Joe explains that he had a lot going on. Back when they were chatting via DM, Michelle tells him he didn't have to be ready for a relationship. He just had to communicate that he was not in a good place. That's all. She says, for me, respect is a huge thing. And my hesitation here tonight is, how do I know that you're not going to shut down again? And that's something I've been working on. You know, I've even, you know, gone to therapy. And, you know, it's something that I've communicated with, you know, professional. It's something I'm really really focusing on. I truly came for you. Michelle appreciates Joe's openness, but she's not quite ready to decide whether she wants him to stick around. Camera, lights, and action. Someone wants some screen time. Spencer, table guy Rick and Ryan get some one-on-one -on -one time, I mean screen time with Michelle and Ryan's how to avoid a villain edit. Edit gets ruined by Caitlin and Taisha. Michelle is disappointed but willing to hear Ryan out. The Bachelorette later confronts Ryan about his evil notes. Ryan makes up some excuse that falls short so they have to head up to Ryan's room. Michelle is displeased and sends Ryan packing. Then give the men her if you're not here for the right reason speech. It's time for that first impression rose and that first kiss. Nate tells Michelle about his parents' divorce and how his mom recently divorced his stepdad who was his best friend. Nate's vulnerability will pay off but for now the bachelorette talks to Martin, Clayton and Brendan J. Nate stood out as a front runner and received Michelle's Coveted first impression rose after impressing her with his vulnerability. Nate also received the first kiss of the season. Over the past several seasons of The Bachelorette, six of the first impression roses recipients went on to get engaged to the lead on the finale. So you know what that means, right, couch potatoes? 
we have to keep an eye on Nate. It's time for the rose ceremony. Jamie, Leroy, Martin, Spencer, Rick, Clayton, Peter, PJ, Malik, Romeo, Daniel, Brandon J, Will, Chris S, Rodney, Alec, Pardeep, Chris G, Casey, Ulu, LT, and Joe receive roses. Yes, Joe, the friendly ghost, received a rose. And we bid farewell to Jamari, Jack, Garrett, Edward, Brian, and Brandon K. Here's to new beginnings, and that is the end of night one. Who are you excited for? Are you okay with Joe not being eliminated after night one when he has already ignored Michelle in the past? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.